Hey everybody, we're going to use the geometric mean formula to find a geometric rate of return for a stock. The geometric mean is found by taking our values of x and multiplying them together. In normal arithmetic averages we add them, but the geometric mean is useful because it implies an exponential growth. We use it in stock indexes because many of the value line indexes also use a geometric mean. We can also use it to calculate annual return on a portfolio and we can find the average growth rate or compounded annual growth rate of a stock using this formula. Interesting is that biologists also use it in studies of cell division and bacteria growth. So people in finance and biologists, it looks worse than it is. So I have the rate of return over three years for three companies, Dog Co, Cat Co, and Pet Co. And what I want to find is the geometric rate of return. So I'm going to use Dog Co for my example. So in my first step, I'm going to take these rates of return and I'm going to convert them back to decimals. So that's a percentage, so that becomes 0 0.1028. This one becomes 0 0.0623. This one becomes 0 0.0819. Next part of my formula in the parentheses is I'm going to take 1 and I'm going to add it to each of these. I'm going to take 1 plus this one and I'm going to take 1 plus this one. <clears throat> so now I have everything in my parentheses complete. Now I'm going to work on my brackets, which requires me to take the three values in step two and multiply them together. So I'm just going to say equal the sum of this one times this one times this one. Close my parentheses and hit enter. I'm now complete inside of my brackets. I'm going to raise it to the 1 divided by n power. This is the same thing as taking the cube root. So 1 divided by 3 is going to give me 0.33. So I'm now going to take my value from step 3 and I'm going to raise it to the power of 0.33 by using my caret, which is shift 6 and I'm going to type in 0 0.33 and that's going to raise that value to the 0.33 or to the one-third power and I'm going to hit enter. So now I have everything inside my brackets but I have to remember to subtract my 1. So here I'm going to say equals this which was the result of my formula minus 1 and that will give me my geometric rate of return. So how would I apply this? If I took $100,000 and invested it in Dog Co. in 2018, based on this geometric rate of return, what would that investment have been worth the end of three years? So three years growth at our R sub G. So the three years worth of growth, I'm going to go ahead and figure my growth rate first. So to get that growth rate, I'm going to say equals 1 plus my growth rate, and I'm going to raise it to the third power. Again, that was just shift 6, and that gives me my growth rate. Now I'm going to multiply my $100,000 times that growth rate and hit enter. So applying that geometric rate of return at the end of three years, my $100,000 would have grown to 126, 445, and three cents. So hope this helped and thanks for watching.